Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 64 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yeah, as you can see, my win streak is actually pretty bad because I've been having some off-camera runs trying to farm for some items, and that hasn't been working out at all. In fact, I've been trying some of that in hard mode as well, which hasn't worked for me. So we got 304 items overall and 148 secrets. 14 deaths, that's not too bad. I'm not going to continue the run that I was already playing off camera because, well, what's the point? So, let's take a look at our seed here. 1R1H P38Q. Alright. Not much that you can make out of an acronym, so to speak, but oh well, it's something. Then again, all seeds are pretty much something. There are no seeds that are nothing. Unless you're probably playing as Lazarus and then you're getting a whole lot of nothing. That being said, however, we're not playing as Lazarus because we finished up Lazarus' post-it note earlier. And actually had a really good run in the chest as Lazarus, believe it or not. This thing gotta go. And that thing. Yeah, Eve I still don't like because her damage is terrible. But I don't consider her the worst character. I would kind of consider Lazarus being the worst character because his damage is okay, but he has really bad luck. And if you're not getting many consumables helping you out, your run could end faster than, say, if you had lower damage. Because you're not getting much in the way of, you know, finding item rooms, finding shops, etc., etc. It really sets you back. Getting Gimpy right away is not really the best item in the world because it only works if you take damage. And ideally, you want to avoid damage, therefore Gimpy is only there, well, if you have no choice but to take damage. And let's face it, when you're not doing what damage is Eve there, I took some damage right there, you're going to be in fights a lot longer than you really want to. These guys suck, especially since they spawn the spider so fast. Oh my god, I hate the spider so much. They're, they're like the worst enemy in the game, pretty much. Well, we're small enemy in the game, so to speak. Finally, we've got some health back. We got ourselves an HP upgrade. Um, should we go down to the next floor right away? I think we should probably like look for a secret room first. And if push comes to shove, it's probably down here. But I want to check to be sure. Yeah, it's looking really likely that it's here. To where that where I was. Okay, getting some extra bombs will help. So, we will place our bomb... Um, should we place it here? Maybe we should place it in a room where it's actually full. Well, I was checking to see if there was any pots around this side of the wall, and there weren't. Okay, two more bombs. I feel good about that, I guess. I like to blow up as many mushrooms as possible. You know, Liberty Cap could be good. I can't see it being bad. Let's put it that way. And since we got some spare bombs, we might as well try to look for a magic mushroom here. Or a pill that could be useful. Explosive diarrhea. Well, in a way, it's kind of useful for this room. Give us some extra money, so we'll likely get an arcade on the next floor. But, not much else. I would have liked to get Magic Fingers, but... If you don't have a lot of money, Magic Fingers is worthless. So, down to the next floor, and hopefully we get some keys. That's another thing we've been lacking, it's keys. In fact, we don't have any. <laughs> That's the ultimate form of lacking when you have zero. You know what item we haven't really picked up at all, I believe? Skeleton key. Where's that been at? Sometimes you find that in mob trap rooms and maybe secret rooms or standard item rooms. At least you could in traditional Isaac. I don't know what the schematic is for here. We should probably play our blood bank at least one more time. Eh, child's heart? Do I really want that over the liberty cap? Maybe, we'll see. Uh, infestation, not really that great at all. But I do see that tinted rock there. They gave me two bombs, so it paid up with itself. Paid up by itself, I mean. You get rid of that Molaboom, because if that hits me, I'm dead. 
Right now, we're in a very bad position. Like, maybe Child's Heart would have been better, but Liberty Cap does offer that potential for a compass, which in large rooms is very valuable, as opposed to, you know, like spawning more red hearts. I think there's a prime spot for a secret room, and it's actually not. I don't like this room either. Uh oh, Patra flies are getting a little too close. And come on, die. Thank you. There's another key, so the shop could be worthwhile. If only I had more HP and, uh, you know, soul hearts or black hearts, the, oh, what a rain that would be. And then we can, you know, just take advantage of the blood bank a bit more. But I don't see that happening. Oh my god, that's not our secret room either? Those were two good spots. What the hell, man? No, no, you get away. Okay, so our the secret room, or top secret room, is definitely not on this room. Uh, we should probably take out our boss right now. Let's do that. Okay, Dingle is not terrible. It'll be slow, but not terrible. If anything, I was more focused on taking out those little poops. Taking out those little poops. <laughs> In case you're wondering what kind of song I was re referring to, like, you ever saw the song Little Bones by Tragically Hip? A Canadian rock band, by the way. They're actually pretty good. I mean, I don't listen to them all the time, but and when you hear a song, you know it's them. Because their music style is very recognizable. These little dingleberries are getting a little too recognizable for me as well. Right now, we're not doing much by way of damage. We'd be doing more damage if we were, like, low on health. But I don't really want to put myself in that position because, you know, that could kill me. I don't want to get killed. You don't want me to get killed, do you? Maybe somebody actually does, but they're probably keeping themselves very hush about it because, you know, it's kind of illegal. Not to mention, it's very, very rude wish death on someone. That being said, however, we finally took care of that. Get the torn photo. It's not the best item in the world. Neither is Guppy's tail. It's not really worth what I'd have to give up. I mean, yeah, you can be Guppy faster if you just took Guppy's tail. You have a greater chance of becoming Guppy, and then you can fly and shoot blue flies. But I have low amounts of keys. Let's put that in perspective as well. And I don't really feel good about taking Guppy's tail if my key count is so low. That'd be something weird you would you would hear at the doctor. Said like, a, like, how come I just can't open things in my life? Well, your key count is so low. <laughs> As if it's like a medical term. Eh, High Priestess is not something I'm too fussy about. But it's there. So, let's hope for something really good here. Ah, that nickel is awesome. Ah, Gimpy actually paid out for a bit. And our shop is worthwhile, so why don't we go to that? I mean, I should be blowing up more slot machines, because there is an item you can unlock if you blew up at least 40 of them. And this item is not very good. So... Buy the red heart as well. We'll donate some money. Probably to like, uh, five cents. Remember, I gotta get these donations going even more. So that we can actually unlock more stuff in our shops. And like, have more variety in them. Because the more you upgrade them, the more stuff you can see. Like more spacebar items. Or, well, active items. Or passive items, rather. Okay, I think we've had enough of you, so you can get blown up now. Thank you for that free key and half a red heart. He did need that in a big way. Alright. So I guess it's down to the next floor. We're doing decent in terms of our health and whatnot. We could do better, but at least we're not going to die right away. 
Like, remember, we, when we're going down to Eve, we have to get to the chest. That's our overarching goal right now. Get to the chest, and I see where our item room and shop is. They're really close to each other. Getting a little bit of a fly army is not bad, either. Because I'm getting that from Infestation, uh, Maggie's Faith? The potential for more health would be much more worth it, in my opinion. So, yeah, we'll roll with Maggie's Faith from here on out. Because right now, we're definitely behind in terms of, you know, getting some more HP to help us out a bit. And if we can leverage that and deal with the double, that'll we'll make our chances even better. Order is okay. It'll make the next shop guaranteed to be worthwhile. But after that, what else? The quarter is only like a temporary fix. It's not really a big one. Ooh, Nun's Habit is real good. So is the Nine Volt. I think I should take both. Yeah, I know, like stupid Bonga, like taking the Nine Volt and, you know, Nun's Habit, even though he has no spacebar item at all. But why not? There is a chance we can get one. A really good one. And there is our secret room right there, so that could really help us out. Hey! Oh, it's Counterfeit Penny. We'll hold on to Counterfeit Penny until we leave the next floor. Then we'll go back for Maggie's Faith. Because if we're going to roll with Maggie's Faith, we might as well take Counterfeit Penny with us, because it'll be good for us the entirety of the floor, whereas Maggie's Faith is only good when you start the floor. So do the math. It would be better to just roll with Counterfeit Penny temporarily for this run, and we'll feel really good about it. If we can get money. And if we don't get money, that would be a crying shame, then it's just completely useless to us. Besides, we spent all that money on the 9 volt and the Nun's Habit, which in its own right will definitely be useful. Balls of Steel is definitely useful. Okay, now we're back to full health. Hey, there's some money, but Counterfeit Penny did not kick in. Very disappointing in that. Hmm, I guess the further along we go with getting more soul hearts, maybe Maggie's Faith be a little less valuable. We'll see. And it's Chubb. Thank you for not targeting those small silkworms. That would have been an absolute waste if you did. Remember, this is the Chubb that does not spawn the uh, silkworms or maggots. It just spawns those little nubs that can create more. This one is also quite tanky compared to the other chugs. Oh, no, this is the one that shoots you. Okay. I didn't think it was going to shoot that fast. I was, like, firing at it and it still fired. That was lame. Oh, that nickel could turn into six cents. Will it turn into six cents or will it turn to five? It was five. Meh, not bad. Maybe we should roll with Counterfeit Penny the whole time. I mean, four hearts is not bad at all. In fact, it does give us a good benchmark for a potential deal with the devil, and we still won't be in danger. At risk, but not in danger. Uh, I think I should blow these up first. Ugh, I don't like this room. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that that was good. That was a good use. Open up this room. Oh, wow! Still took damage. That sucks. Okay. We'll, we'll be alright. We just need to, like, hold on to this room a little bit more. There is half a red heart there, so we can afford a, a blood bank use for free. That's guaranteed. Dead bird is really paying out. Okay, there's another half a red heart right there. That's real good. Ooh, that room could be scary. Okay, there's a donation machine. And... Yeah. Okay, we're getting a lot of money, which is really good for us. Should we have waited until we, like got a spacebar item from our item room before doing this, so we can actually use it more? Probably. So, let's look around for our item room first. Uh, 
Alright, so our tarot card is the Fool. And we'll use it right now, I suppose. If it's not really something that we would hold on to, if we got anything else, we might as well just use it now to skip a room or two. Yeah, it tears up. That's good. Ish. Well, yeah, it tears up is good. I can't see it being bad. Maybe if you're, like, taking on Isaac or something, or Blue Baby. But even then, it's still very good. Also, how the hell can I not kill these enemies effectively yet? Did I not get a single damage up? I, I didn't. These guys still take a million years. At least they don't recover health while they're underground. So that's a good thing. Okay, so Cole NL112 just sent me a text message and I think he might have spelled some words wrong. So I can't even comprehend what the hell he's saying there. Must be autocorrect, either that or he's probably groggy and tired. Then again, he's probably up by now. So I am probably going to ask him what the hell he's trying to say after I'm done this run. So I hope he can understand, like, oh, why he got a delay from that previous text message you might have sent me several days ago. By the time this video is up, at least. Maybe even a full week, who knows? Man, I would so replace Counterfeit Penny with Curved Horn in a heartbeat if I had the chance. Because this damage still sucks, my god. How come you don't have damage ups as a pill effect? Then again, if you did, then you'd have the risk for a damage down, which would probably make a lot of people, like myself, very ornery. And I can see why. Because I would really hate to be playing as Eve and get a damage down, which makes it even worse. Okay, deck of cards is okay, I guess. Uh, temperance. We'll probably use that in our blood bank, I suppose. We can get a lot of good uses out of that. It's too bad I can't just fly over that and like, get the hangman. That would have been so good. We'll use it right... Here, okay, well, I'll just use the blood bank immediately, even though I never really planned to. One of you has got to give me a blood bag, at least. Okay, we can use deck of cards again. Oh, it gives me the sun! We'll actually use that right away. So now we know where our shop is and our secret room. I kind of bunged that one because I wanted to play them both. Okay, and we get the Empress. Eh, it's alright. It's basically Horror Babylon when you're not at, like, low health. If anything, we're just getting a lot of money for this donation machine right here. Look at this. You just gotta hold down on it. There you go. Like, just backing away, going forward. Oh, there it goes. It is kind of boring. So, whoever commented, I think... I think it was Exiled Alchemist, or... I don't know who it was, I don't remember. Gave me that little tip, so uh, thank you for that. Makes doing the blood banks so, or donation machines a little bit easier. Or judgments, rather. I wouldn't really use this in account for blood banks, because it has that high risk. I have more keys than bombs, so we should definitely uh, use our key for the shop. We almost got a full charge on a deck of cards there. And no surprise, we're fighting greed. Well, infestation helped out to make sure that, you know, we're getting more out of this. I think we should take on our boss right away next. Pop our Empress card there. I really don't feel like using Empress on greed. The thing that's annoying about infestation is, again, it's another item where you have to take damage for it to work. Like, we already got Gimpy, which is good for, you know, taking damage. But Infestation just gives you blue flies, and they hardly last very long. Hardly worth that damage, now is it? Counterfeit Penny still kicking in really well. I like that. Two spades! We'll use that right now. Though I think I should have waited until I got to use another key. And it's a hollow. Well, this is very rare you fight bosses in rooms that actually have a chasm. 
But I figured if we're going to be using a tarot card, we might as well just use the Empress here. Just to speed things up. Things are going really, really well. Like, we're going to get our health back for certain. We don't get a deal with the Devil, which blows my mind. Blood Bank should not really count as Red Heart damage, do they? I don't think so. It's probably if you get hit by an enemy with Red Heart damage. And there we go, spend one bomb to get three. Fair trade. Now, we should definitely go back to our Blood Bank again. We're, uh, we are running some risks here, I uh, don't get me wrong. But I feel like the risks are well worth it. Especially if we can just like keep making a fly army and getting a lot more money for future shops. And hey, Gimpy will pay up with a soul heart or maybe even an, a black heart. Why wouldn't we take this opportunity? Oh, the fool, that sucks. And if we don't like what we want, then we'll just blow these machines up and we don't have to use them again. Look at that, even more money. We're at max right now. Okay, that, that makes me feel really good. Monkey's Paw is probably not something I would take, even though it could be useful. You know what, let's roll with Monkey's Paw because we're not going to be worrying about money ever again. We're already at 99. And I think if we take more damage, like get really low on health, we can create a black card for us. So yeah, there we go. Down to the next floor. I think we'll have a decent run as Eve, if we can continue to get more items. At least the pentagram is a good start. Like, if anything, it'll, it'll save us a lot of trouble. Can my flies get in here, please? Thank you. And that half a red heart's dangling in the chasm. I can't even get it. That is so weird. Ah, we kind of broke even, but it gave us more of a charge. Yep. Should not have done that. Ah, the sun. Alright, we'll hold on to that. Uh, two keys to get seven bombs? I don't know. We'll just keep waiting until maybe our deck of cards give us possibly the hangman. Then we can snag those for free. We'll probably wait for that. Another trinket I'd like to see is store credit. I mean, we unlocked that as Lazarus not that long ago in the chest. And that allows us to get one shop item for free. I think it works on deals with a double as well. We'll probably have to wait until we actually get that opportunity. Which hopefully will be, uh, you know, I don't know, anytime soon. Cancer. I think we'll roll with Cancer. I tend to value Cancer very highly in uh, Isaac. And, well, it's pretty obvious why. Like, anytime you get a little bit more DPS, I mean, that's increasing your killing power. So that's what it is. It's your killing power. The more of that, the better. Explosive diarrhea? Eh, uh, secret room wouldn't be over there anyway. Tell you what, why don't we use explosive diarrhea right along this wall? Like, right now? Well, we know that's not our secret room. And that's, I found pills, so that's not very good for us. That's the lovers. Sure, we'll use that right now, even though it lowers our damage. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll still get a nice bit of damage our way by, ugh, damn it, by way of cancer. And, you know, we'll take it from there. Dead bird will also get some licks in. So now I feel a little less foolish for taking the 9 volt and the uh, Nun's Habit. Because now we actually have a decent spacebar item. What did I do with my Sun card? Oh yeah, I dropped in that previous room because I picked up the Lovers. That's right. I was getting kind of worried that I don't have a Sun card anymore. So what the fuck did I do with it? And I realized, oh, there it is. Like, we've actually been very lucky to get the sun two times with the deck of cards. And thank you, uh, Walking Nubs, for, uh, killing those... Well, destroying those rocks for me. I don't know I said killing those rocks. They're not sentient. They gave us another two keys. Ah, it's blood rights. 
No thank you. If I had the ability to be immune to self damage, then yeah, I would take that in a heartbeat for sure. And this is worth taking as well. Like, spend two bombs to get three and a free deck cards charge? Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't you do that? Especially if you can get the Hero Fant. Alright. Really? You're gonna give me greed two shops in a row? You're, you're gonna be an asshole, aren't you, game? I just gotta remember when you're fighting super greed, if you're standing perfectly straight, it'll work out for you most of the time. Not all the time if your shots can actually cause them to sidle diagonally. Then it works against you. Uh, our boss could probably be around this way. Ha, <laughs> they kiss. That's so cute. I really hate when they give you so much potential for shops and they keep giving you greed constantly. It's like, dude, come on. It's like when you get Map of Compass and you're going to see Curse of the Lost show up frequently. It's like being an asshole on purpose. Like, who does that? Oh, here she comes. Oh yeah, I gotta take into account that wall monsters cannot destroy our rocks for you. That would have saved me a little bit of trouble if you could. You know, my dry baby could be there. That was some dumb damage. I walked directly into the shot. And I walked directly into that as well. Come on, at least destroy some of these rocks so I can... Oh my god, that is bullshit. That's not bullshit at all. Like, seriously, I hate when Loki does that. So we kind of squandered our deal with a double chance. Oh, deal with the angel. This could be real good-ish. It only just gave me an HP upgrade. Well, it's okay. I would have much preferred, you know, Sacred Heart. That would have been amazing. Like, find Secret Heart in there? I mean, why would you not take it? Yeah, let's check out our curse room. Gives us a deck of cards, charge, and it's the Hermit. Here's the thing. If, if I take the Hermit, you know, we'll get to our shop right away. Ooh. That could be a little bit more valuable. But then I would lose the, uh... Lose the Sun card. Do I really want to do that? Eh, it'll save me a key, so... Yeah. Okay, Humbling Bundle. Good. I'll take it. Take the key. Definitely take the Soul Arts. I'm going to give them up anyway to get back that Sun card. Take the bomb. We'll take this pill. Speed up. Okay, that's awesome. Overall, that was worth doing. I kind of wish I had a Death card for this. Because this room could take an awful long time. But getting Humbling Bundle by itself will take us to the top. We won't have to worry about consumables ever again, as long as we can get them. That was actually very scary, because he could have shot me there. And likely would have hit me. Okay, I like to go back to where I was. I gotta go this way, apparently. I don't really feel that great about the bombs or key pill, but... We're still in a good position. Humbling Bundle is really gonna help us a lot. That means we have more bombs to check these skulls. God, I hate bonies so much. Bonies are probably the one of those rare enemies where are you a wizard is actually a good pill effect to have. Because then you're not standing directly in front of them. It's very rare where are you a wizard can be useful. Let's check their double key room. Um, I don't know how I feel about all these. Well, three of them I can go for with relative ease. The other four, well, there's a high risk. I almost walked onto that like an idiot. So yeah, I do want to go back for that Sun card. Sun card is probably one of the most useful tarot cards you can get in the late game. Because then you, you pretty much have your map, you have your compass, and you recover your health. How can you go wrong with that? Tears up. You can't go wrong with that either. There's another, um, arcade machine that I like to blow up. Like, right now, I don't even want to play these things. Actually, I kind of should. 
How do I get money from that? That's weird. Yeah, we should just play this a few times. That's also explosive diarrhea. We'll hold on to that until we want to destroy this thing. We don't know what this is. That's pheromones. Okay. Yeah, this this could take a while, but I think it's well worth it. Like, we're spending one cent to probably get, like, two bombs or two keys or even more money. And some pills and orbitals. Okay, that blew up. I don't know if that really counts towards our uh, blow-up counter. If it does that itself. That's the lovers. I don't really want that. We'll go back to a take our suck card with us. Did I pick up a soul heart automatically? I think I did. We'll go this way. And that was a dead end. Okay, we have some decent power right now. I feel a little bit better about it. Alright, Bingle is here again. Again, the uh, asshole brother of a uh, Dingle. Probably because he's just so big and constantly gives birth. I mean, that's your life, just giving birth, hopping around. No wonder you're frumpy. Uh, that's not something I really want to see. Crystal Ball! Kind of think of it, it can give us tarot cards. So overall, it's much better than deck of cards. Deck of cards always gives us tarot cards, while Crystal Ball reveals our map can occasionally gives us a soul heart, but gives us tarot cards too. So this is like a major upgrade, in my opinion. And now we know where our boss is. Alright, let's head on down. You're the next contestant of Kill Your Mother. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is a legitimate show somewhere, likely in Mexico. Anyways, let's just continue on here. What are Mexican uh, game shows like? I know Japanese ones are just downright crazy and they require you to do some parkour. Mostly involving like large foam stuff and then you fall in water or mud. Stuff like that. I wonder what the most danger, the country of the most dangerous game shows would be. Like some of which you can actually get killed in. It makes you wonder. And I thought our game shows were outlandish. Well, you know, the United States. Well, I mean, Canada, we hardly have game shows. The only game shows we have are basically the Canadian versions of American game shows. That's pretty much the best we can do right now. And that's kind of bad. And, you know, this bone can go. Thank you. If we get this, we might get all four of these skulls. The Joker, yeah, we'll take it. Ooh, what do I roll with? We definitely take the Pact. That gives us extra damage and tears. And we'll also take the Mark. Yes, we're setting ourselves up for potential disaster, but we gotta do it. Temperance will definitely set us up for disaster. But it puts us in curse mode, which I'm happy about. And we'll get a soul heart back, which doesn't really matter now. I don't know, I don't want the stars card, I want the sun card. Oh yes. This is wicked good. Our damage right now is just amazing. Thank you for destroying that tinted rock for me, Mom. It's nice to know you're still willing to do things for me, even though we're practically here to end each other's lives. It's a bit of mutual respect. Like a little code of honor. It's like, we're gonna fight to the death. Let me take her out of that tinted rock for you so you can save one bomb for, well, the nightmare you're about to endure later on. So nice of you. Okay, take the Polaroid. By God, you better take the Polaroid. You know, I'm not gonna take those red hearts. Because we'll still be in curse mode. I think I'd rather be in curse mode at this point of the game. Our crystal ball is almost charged up, so hopefully we go in the right way prior to that. Or, you know, find some rooms where you can fight? This entire area was devoid of enemies. 
The one thing that I needed to get our crystal ball charged up, and they weren't even there. What, are, are they off work today? I didn't know there was a holiday in the womb. Or, well, utero one. Does, does the utero or the uterus even get a holiday? It makes you wonder. You can probably think of some people whose uteruses never take a holiday. Like, as soon as they give birth, they're pregnant again. More fertile than a Nebraskan cornfield. Like, that is just crazy. Okay, there's a dice room here. Do we re-roll everything on the potential we could get something a little bit crazy? Well, since I already took that, I might as well just take the rest. We'll be doing a little less damage, but we're still powerful. How that shot went from one end of the room to the other, and I still took damage from it. Well, good thing I have crystal ball, am I right? Hmm, what's this terror card? Ah, that's the fool. I might as well use it, because I do want to check out that secret room over there. Now I guess they're a bit faster. Better not have greed. Oh, it just has money. Well, it's kind of worthless. I was just hoping it would have something else. Um, if it's a five, I might consider, like, going for that dice room. Because, you know, the potential to, like, get another boss item would be interesting. I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, but we'll give it a shot. We might get one item we never picked up yet. And, you know, I'm always willing to go that extra mile for items to add to our collection. Because, you know, we do need to pick up all of them for these uh, achievements. It is a five. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't need that money. That was a bit scary. Uh, we'll save our crystal ball charge for later. Because if I want to re-roll this floor, I might as well just, you know, get the most of it so we can get our crystal ball ready immediately. <gasps> well, that was bad damage. That could have been worse. Is that other Loki stuck? Okay. This one should be dead shortly, thanks to the dead bird. Get over there. Keep pecking at it. Thank you. Range upgrade. Our prayers have been answered. I had to blow that up because those polyps were in the way. Okay, we did have to pay the Krampus tax, but if we get a lump of coal, that'll be amazing. I really don't want to get Krampus' head. I like Krampus' head, but it, Crystal Ball's better for me. It's basically a safety net. Ah, uh, we did get Krampus' head. Pick it up, put it back down so we never had to see it again. Even though I kind of don't think it's necessary. You know what? Fuck it. We're not going to re-roll this room. Or we're not going to forget me now, this room. We're just going to go straight on. Oh my god, are you serious? I was talking about, hey, we are going to use this. We're going to use the crystal ball so we can get to Mom's heart right away. And then it gives us Curse of the Lost, so now we can't really use it to find our way just to get a soul heart. And that's it. Thanks, Obamacare. This room can be scary and really noisy. And come on, you. Come on, I want to finish this so I can go on a little rebirth hiatus. I'm not saying I don't like the game. I, I really love it. It's just that when you play it so long for like so many runs and upload so many runs a day, eventually you get tired of it. Like, your viewers would like to see a little something different. And personally, I would like to deliver something different. Which is what I'm hoping to do by taking this little bit of time off. Could be a week. It could be two weeks. But all I know is this. When we actually get back to Rebirth, it's going to be like fully recharged. We'll be good to go. And we'll be doing more stuff. Like, like I said, we got to find the secret character. And that's going to be a bit of a rudimentary process, which will be quite interesting. We also got to do our hard mode runs. 
and maybe do a few more runs to see if we can get more items to our collection. And that will be it, actually. We'll save our crystal ball. And there we go. Oh, I have Polaroid invincibility. Okay, that was cool. And, yeah, we're still not to that mark where we need to, like, we're, like, very close to getting what we need by destroying all this. And it looks like we were going the wrong way. Yeah, this was, like, the arcade juncture. Okay, we're back where we started, unfortunately. This was also... Oh, you spawned right below me, you asshole. Yeah, if anything, just use Crystal Ball to get those soul hearts back, potentially. Burn Penny, you know what? No. I don't really need the bombs that badly. Well, you're gonna give me those bombs, okay. Hey, free soul hearts. Apparently one of them was tinted. Yeah, I know, well, like, in the womb slash utero, to find the tinted rocks, you gotta look for the ones that are... Oh, damn it. You gotta look for the ones that are... have veins in them. But even then, it's so hard to distinguish, because everything just blends right in. Everything's all red. Like, you have to have really good vision just to spot these specific foibles to get what you're looking for. Okay, that's a lock-off. That makes me happy. If only it just changed around the map and will Curse of the Lost. Uh, okay, you know, this is where the boss room is now. I know it's very far-fetched, but come on. That would have been so awesome if that were true. We might as well use it right now. Just so we can, like, not waste a charge. Ugh, oh, that's the fool, really? I don't want that. Wow, I completely bunged that up. I took damage and I missed the enemy. Huh. That's just a dumb play on my part. I am going to hear that till Kingdom Come. Who is Kingdom and why does he need to come anyway? I don't know. Like, Kingdom Come would seem like the uh, sexiest phrase if there was a stripper whose title name is Kingdom. It would make for a very messy show, and I would imagine you have to pay, like, premium prices to get there. And if it is that messy, I mean, you're gonna have, like, a big story to tell your wives. Like, uh, where were you? Uh, I was with Kingdom and she came. And, yeah. Not gonna go into any more details for that. Fuck this room. <laughs> Especially if you don't have the means to take them out effectively. Well, we'll just use our Magician card right here. If we're going to be rolling Sun card, we'll make do with the other cards we get. Especially when we got to deal with these scum lords. Those vaginal diglets. That bomb missed? Really? Okay. Have it your way, game. Oh, if only the spikes popped up or Chubb was too... Is one of them... Okay, I was wondering if one of them was close to death yet. Thank you for that money I don't really need. <laughs> okay. Is this the way to the boss? It better be. Oh my god, another dead end. What else is new? God, Curse of the Lost is the ultimate dick of curses. Curse of the Blind could be a bad one as well if you're looking for a deal with the devil and then you don't even know what it is. So it's basically like a random grab bag. I don't think I've gotten this way. Oh my god, there's our boss. Just keep moving, the beam just can't get you. There. I am hemorrhaging health though, that worries me. So let's just hope for the best. Oh, I'm pretty sure that laser should have got me. But I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to ask for a redo. Maybe if I was the one that got hit and shouldn't, but still. 
Okay. I say we got this. Oh, don't spawn Chubb. Now it's gonna take a while. At least Chubb will actually block some of the shots. And be peppered by Mom's heart. Thank you. Strength? Yeah, we'll use it right now. That will help. An awful lot. Dead bird, why are you just following me? Just get right in there. Up close and personal, there you go. That's how you do it. And we're going up to the next floor. I just gotta remember I did take the Polaroid, and that's what I was hoping for. Remember, I get super paranoid when it comes to this kind of stuff, thinking I took the wrong item. Oh god, this room sucks so bad. Because it's so small, and there's so many of them. Yeah, I knew I was going to take a hit there. It was inevitable. Come on, give me some soul hearts. Man, I did get a luck up pill earlier. Come on. Anything at all? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid, sexy soul fires. Oh, God. As long as the bomb leeches are dead, it feels a little bit easier to manage. I mean, angel fetuses are not really a problem unless they, you know, teleport right on top of you. Which they've been very privy to do. But, we'll be okay. Here's another lock up pill that helps us. Substantially. That's the moon that'll just send us to the secret room automatically. Should I have done that? Eh, it doesn't really matter. You know what? We'll place a bomb right here, because we're going to hit this way anyway. Yeah, we'll definitely open this. And get our investment back. And then some. We don't really need to be holding our sun card to fight Pestilence. I mean, come on now. Oh yeah, we're going to wreck pretty much anything our way. Oh my god, I didn't think the shot went that far. Go back to grab our sun card. They actually have mint bosses here? Huh. Who knew? It's like finding a Denny's in Canada. It's like, they're really here? Do they actually have Denny's in Canada? I would imagine they would probably in Alberta. Which is basically like, uh, Mer Canada's Murica. Because, you know, like the oil sands and stuff. And, you know, ranches, stampede, you name it. Very shitty hockey teams. Well, the flames aren't bad. I think I should have used that chariot card a little bit earlier. Do I know what this pill is? That's explosive diarrhea, isn't it? I believe that's what it is. Yep, it is. We'll probably use it in this room. Yeah, this could be frightening. For them! Well, it revealed the top secret room for me. Nope, it's actually more frightening for me. Because now some of these are loose. Yeah, go right into there. No, not right on top of me! Okay, my health is looking a little bit more frightening right now. One of these gotta be balls of steel. I remember that was in the rotation. Speed up, okay. Pheromones, no. Lemon... <sighs> okay. Crystal balls may have saved me. Let's go back for that sun card. And then we fight Isaac with only six hearts. Did I take all the pills here? Lemon party and pheromones. Oh, yeah, no, that was I found pills. I just want to make sure that I was not leaving anything to chance. Okay, well, we're not doing a lot of damage to Isaac, but we're probably not going to be taking a lot of damage either. Remember, I gotta have full attention to, like, what's going on. I just know our damage is not that great against this type of boss. Like, against other enemies, we do, we'd do be doing fine. But this is not a standard enemy. Angel fetuses are, though. But that's pretty much it. Whoa, I forgot they have splash damage. Dead bird, get in there! I just gotta remember in the second phase, Isaac's attacks have like Cricket's body effect so they can splash on you. 
So I've taken two hits from there. We haven't got to the third phase yet. This sucks. Uh, here we go. I think we got those speed up pills. Oh, careful there. There's gonna be so much you pay attention to at once. Real frustrating. Because Isaac's moving, Dead Bird is not as useful as it should be. So we better hope to be carried in the chest. That's pretty much how it's gonna go down. Like, I'm four hits from death now. Remember, I got that sun card that I preferably like to save for the chest. We have no business not taking damage there. We really don't. We should have. But, I guess it was that fly I got from the slot machine that saved me. A hit, yeah. Maybe I'm getting a little over analytical, but I pretty much have to be for a game like this. There's too much math. We did it. Alright, we're going to the chest. I think we got this. If we can get Crystal. Oh my god. If Crystal Ball can give me the Emperor, I may lose the Sun. Ooh, money equals power. Halo flies, mom's perfume, dead onion? Holy shit, we might have a really good synergy going on here. I don't really need Wrath around. Look at this, our tears can pierce. This is great. We got money equals power, so we're gonna do max damage for like a very long time. Okay, Bingle and Dingle, so it's basically the Ingle family reunion. My god. Too many poops. Too many poops. <laughs> there literally is too many poops. Look at it. This could be a nightmare. Dingle is tankier than I thought it would be. Okay, that's all the Dingles. Now it's just the Bingle trio. Or maybe there was like more than three. This is where a fear shot can actually come to bite you in the ass. Whoa, what was that? Did I actually glide towards it? There was a... Oh, it's you. You actually thought you could escape. Tower sucks. Don't want it. Oh, Monstro 2, really? When, this is where fear can really fuck you over. But my god, Dead Onion is really carrying its weight in spades. Oh yes, this is real good. We got Blue Baby beat. Once we can find him. And knowing our luck, we'll find everything else except Blue Baby. Because we have to get Curse of the Lost in this particular room too. Game just wants to say, like, you really want to fill in that post it note, you better run the fucking gauntlet. And that's exactly what we're doing. Because we got nowhere else to go. There's no turning back. Like, this is going to be, like, put up or shut up right now. We can only take four hits. Well, maybe five or six if you count the sun card. Oh god, I don't want to be in this room at all. Just don't stop! Yeah, this is the kind of room I don't want to be in! One of them's gotta die! Please, let one of them die! He got away, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, that one's probably dead. Nope, it, it just flew up. Okay, now I'm real concerned. What's this? Well, that's useless! I can't go beyond this! Wait, if I use AWAS and actually leave... Well, it's not gonna work. I was thinking about the I Am Error rooms. I don't know why I was thinking otherwise. Oh god. Wait, is this double bloat? 
I didn't think such a thing would exist. What was that? I don't even know what hit me there. Was it the eye? Yeah, I think it was the eye that got me. Oh, that could have got me too. We gotta do this. What? Oh my god. Yeah, use the sun card right now. I fire too fast that we're just gonna create explosions like nobody's business. Oh, really? You're gonna give me bomb bag after all this? Oh no, not this. Okay, good. Gimpy! You may have saved me. Thank God it doesn't eat items. Like it's some kind of Final Fantasy villain or something. Wheel of Fortune? Sure. Let's go for it. We pretty much have to play everything possible. We already got full orbitals for defense. You gotta give me another soul heart, man. Balls of steel. Oh my god, they gave me two. Oh my god. We have hope yet. We can hope for a little bit more. I mean, we can afford two. Actually, we may not because uh, money equals power is going to dissipate. Ooh. Not really a big fan of this room either. Our tears are too big. We can hardly see the boss. Look at the size of our tears. This is death incarnate. Ironically, it can also kill us. Oh my god, the haunt just got eviscerated. In mere seconds. This isn't... This is not our boss room either? Really? Oh yeah, I forgot I can't really fly. Oh, come on, give me another item. Unicorn Stomp? In a way? I don't know. We'll probably save her for Blue Baby when it gives us like one bit of invincibility. We have to clear out those fires. Oh my god. Okay, wait for the creep to dissipate. Uh, two spades, doesn't matter. And this gives us Book of Revelations! That saves us a free hit. And speed up so we move faster. Oh my god, we finally found our boss room. It took us an eternity, but there it is. Now we just gotta survive the Nicholas Cages. All right, Nick and Johnny Cage are gonna die now. All right, this is it, moment of truth. Okay, don't stand in the upper or down part. Like, I literally can't even see myself now. Our tears are just too damn big. We're probably gonna be taking more hits than we're letting on. This is crazy weird, but we did it. Sacrificial dagger is unlocked. Yeah, we'll take a pity soul heart. Guys, we did it. We uncover like every single post-it note on normal mode at least. We still gotta do them on hard mode. But yeah, there we go. That's one big challenge out of the way for good. So I am gonna take some time off from Isaac, and then once I come back, we're going to unlock the secret character. So, we'll definitely be taking care of that in the next episode. Could be within a week or two. I just need to re recover from this type of game. And if you really want it back, I mean, always let me know. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time for the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.